Oh yeah. What you like to cosplay says about you. Nothing. You're boring and unfun. An anime character. People already thought you were weird for watching anime. Now you've just made it ten times weirder. A monster. You mostly just dress up for Halloween. Superheroes. You love Comic-Con for being about comics, not all the weaves and furries. Supervillains. You act like it's just a costume, but we know if the right circumstances happened, you'd be a supervillain in real life. A game character. You're breaking the gamer stereotype of never leaving the house. What are you doing? Unless you're cosplaying in your room and posting it on Instagram. My Hero Academia. You're more sensitive and quiet usually, but somehow when you put on the wig, you become both hyper and obnoxious. Demon Slayer. You either put all your effort into having the perfect sword pose, or you yell, Nezuko, and jump on random people. Hatsune Miku. You've listened to Vocaloid since you were 12 years old. Fursu. You love taking up tons of space and communicating exclusively through emotes. Also, you'll never tell your non-fur friends how much your suit costs because it would kill them. Genshin Impact. You and all the other Genshin cosplayers will probably do something dumb like lining up and dancing. Five Nights at Freddy's. Somehow you put more effort into your costume than you've ever put into your homework. But I'm not gonna lie, it looks amazing. Batman. You're gonna have something in the way playing on your phone speaker as you walk around menacingly. League of Legends. You're one of the few League of Legends players who has the confidence to leave your gaming chair. Star Wars. You're either a kid who bought his costume on Amazon for $40, or you're an adult super nerd who put in thousands to make a custom suit. Naruto. You swear Naruto is the best anime, and everyone who thinks otherwise should go eat a shuriken. Dragon Ball. You know you could beat up any other cosplayer, but until you have reason to, you're just gonna chill. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You've memorized poses, memes, and laughs. If you're really cool, you even hit the gym just to make your body look like a JoJo character. Final Fantasy. You almost definitely don't look real. Kind of like a living doll. A beautiful living doll, but still. Attack on Titan. Sometimes you bite your hand hoping you'll turn into a titan. It doesn't work. Spy X Family. You only cosplay with the other spy family members. By yourself, it's kind of awkward. Fire Emblem. Your cosplays look amazing, but most people don't know who your character is. Hey, is that Marth? Persona. Sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror and say, Persona, in the most edgy emo voice possible. Animal Crossing. You're wholesome, but in all honesty, your cosplay looks kind of weird. Toho. A lot of people don't know who you are, but the ones who do freak out and speak to you in Toho language. Pokemon. You grew up on Pokemon and you don't intend on ever letting it go. Indie game character. You're secretly hoping people will recognize you, and when they do, you feel like it was all worth it. Horror game characters. You're actually ridiculously nice underneath the scary outfit. Link. Gamers know you're a hero. Normies think you're Peter Pan. Sonic. You smile a lot. I don't know, I just never met a Sonic cosplayer who isn't smiling. Mario. You've got the body to match him, just not the jumping and fire throwing abilities. A joke cosplay. You've always been the meme of your friend group. Fallout. You want the apocalypse to happen. Group cosplay. You're either a group of anime girl idols, or you're a squad of stormtroopers. And no matter what happens, you're gonna take group picks. Mech. You put in time, money, and planning to make it a reality, but oh, how worth it it was. Joker. You've mastered the Joker laugh and you randomly jump scare people with it. Kirby. Everyone thought you couldn't pull it off, but you just proved them wrong. A YouTuber. You're either their biggest fan or you're literally that YouTuber. Couple cosplay. You make some people say, aww, and other people say, ugh. Casual cosplay. You're just messing around and having fun. Handcrafted cosplay. You're actually super talented. Keep doing what you do. Chainsaw Man. You're an edgelord who's always down bad. Evangelion. You want to show the world how you need mental health. Minions. You've memorized minion language, and you're really good at annoying people. Roblox. Roblox is your reality. The real world is just some side quest. Minecraft. You're either a straight up block or a sexy Enderman. A cartoon character. You get mad whenever someone says cartoons or cosplays for kids. 
Horror movie character. You secretly love it when someone is scared of you. Street Fighter. Unlike most cosplayers, you actually might get into a real street fight. Disney characters. You work at Disneyland. Miraculous. You're older than the average Miraculous enjoyer, but that's okay, because you like a lot of things that don't quite match up with your age. Stranger Things. You act like the 80s is your home, even though you didn't even exist back then. Among Us. You're both sus and extremely problematic. You act like you aren't, but somehow you are. I don't know why. Movie or TV show character. People always ask you to say the line, and when you do, it just comes out awkward. Jack Sparrow. Sometimes even you yourself think you're Johnny Depp. A waifu. You got simps, and depending on who you are, you love them or hate them. One Piece. You don't really look like the character, but that's kind of a good thing this time. And look at these dudes. Psyche K. Sometimes people ask, Are you cosplaying Envy Perry? Yeah, no, that, that doesn't happen. But you know what does happen? People asking me if I'm cosplaying Psyche K! I'm not Psyche K! Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what your favorite thing to cosplay is. And if you've never cosplayed before, say who you'd like to cosplay. Of course, everything I said is a joke. It's just a meme. Don't take it seriously. As always, my name's Evie Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.